Hi everyone, it's Heidi from flutterbyheidi.co.uk back again with another project for you and this is using the fabulous celebration items that you can get at the moment. So this is celebration 2017, uh, 2018 even. Um, I might have got that wrong in another video I suspect. And this is one of the stamp sets that you can get for free when you spend £45 on Stampin' Up products in my Stampin' Up shop um, which is heidysmith.stampinup.net so you can spend £45 on anything you like and you can choose from a whole host of celebration items and this is just one of them. It also uses some beautiful dies here which you can see this lovely celebrate and this um, is again um, available in celebration it will be available afterwards but it is free if you spend 90 pounds so if you um, spend 135 pounds you could you could have both the stamp set and the set of dies for absolutely nothing extra and in here are three dies the one which we're using now is celebrate there's another one that says amazing and the other one is you so really useful great ones to have in your stash and something that we've been missing for a little while some lovely words so without further ado let's go on and have a look at our card so you'll see that I've used the balloon here um, and, and uh, used some of the new Tutti Frutti um, designer series paper as the background I just thought it was great fun and really simple but um, adorable so that's our card so you're going to start off with a standard card base so this is a piece of um, five and three quarter by um, five five and three quarter by eight and a quarter scored at four and one eighth or 21 by 14.5 centimeters scored at 10.5 and that just makes our tent fold card base so that's our card base then we've got, we're going to need some layers. So the first layer is our basic black layer and that's going to go onto our card. And um, as I said, this is the new Tutti Frutti paper and I've got a piece of card which is two and by five and three quarters and I'm layering on this DSP which is just a quarter inch narrower. So it's still five and three quarters, but it's one and three quarter inches. So that's five by 14.5 centimetres, then 4.5 by 14.5 centimetres. And that creates our layer. And that's what is going to sit across um, the bottom of our card. Um, and I'm going to pop that up onto some dimensionals um, when we assemble our card. In fact, if I can find them. Okay. So, um, dimensionals, again, as I always say, you don't need loads of them. I'm just using the mini dimensionals here. Um, if it's a large piece, I say four in the corner and one in the middle. This is a slightly sort of longer and thinner piece, so you don't want it bowing. So I'm just literally putting four on one edge and four on the other edge. And just take the backing off those. If you're a crafter, you'll know that these, you'll find these little hexagons everywhere. They seem impervious to uh, being vacuumed. So just pop that layer onto the front of our card. Okay. And then what I've done is I have die cut three of the celebrate words. And to get that dimension, oh, that's another project creeping in on the act. All you're going to do is literally just layer those on top of each other. So there we go, if we start off with that one, and our next one. So I'm using the um, Stampin' Up Fine Tip Glue, and I'm just popping it mainly on the uprights. I'm just going to leave that test of set very slightly while I do the other one. So again we're just going on the uprights here and you don't have to squeeze it is you know it's a very liquid glue so it is just a fine touch and you'll have sufficient on there to to glue um, just a tip when you're putting the lid back in here I find if I pop that against my finger and then sort of line the needle up I don't have any problems with uh, the pin buckling which I know um, if, you, if you're not careful, you, you can um, get a bit heavy-handed with those. So once you've done that, 
you're literally just going to layer that up. And this is a great way to add dimension. Um, you know, you can do it by cutting multiple die cuts, or you could cut one from a thick cardstock if you wanted to. And then you literally just pop those together. And then I just use my pokey tool to kind of make sure they're lined up. There we go. And you'll see that's almost like a, you know, the old thickers that we used to get. So there's our lovely thick word. And all we're going to do now is add small glue onto onto the back there. I'll see under the sort of my filming lights. It's quite warm, so it does go off more quickly. But you should find no difficulty with this. Obviously, another way to do it would be to cut these out with some um, of our double-sided. Um, I can't remember what it's called. It's the double-sided stuff that you can that you can put on it as well, um, and that that would work if you don't want to use wet glue, or if you find that a challenge. And then literally just pop that word onto the card front. I'm going to pop that to one side so that can dry while we do the next stage of our stamping. So I've got a piece of Whisper White cardstock here, and this is um, um, this is. <laughs> Um, uh, this is slightly wider because I'm going to trim it down. Um, so it's actually five and a half by fourteen and a half centimetres, or two and a quarter by five and three quarters. And I'm using Memento black ink, but you could use archival ink. And the first one I'm going to do is the panda with the balloon. And literally, I'm just going to take him and line him up. Like so. And then I'm going to do exactly the same with our party panda here. And I just, just used two out of the three pandas. I left a little space so he kind of looked as if he was gambling along. And another one. I've noticed obviously what I've done there is I've just got a little bit where I haven't quite got as um, is inked up as I might like. So just come in with a stamping right marker and you can just fill that in. Any little sort of bits just go over. And you would never know. Okay. So once we've done that. This is probably the most tricky bit of the card, which is to do this partial cutting. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to I want to trim this down so that it's four centimetres wide. So I'm going to trim it to I'm going to do this side first. And literally what I'm doing is I'm just kind of having a look and seeing where it goes. So I'm bringing it down to five centimetres and I'm just doing some cutting in between our pandas. And I'm using the pointer to help me where those pandas are, like so. And then I shall come in with my snips and just cut around the bottom. So, and then you can see where it's not quite flat, and just so I always sort of stop, you know, stop slightly short. So it's much easier to come in with your snips afterwards than it is to obviously deal with that. So there's our panda, and then we're going to do exactly the same on the top section. So we're going to take it to one centimetre because we took it off the bottom. So just have a look at yeah, that's fine. Put my trimmer away. 
move my scrap bit and literally just come in I'll see I didn't stamp as well this time I, I missed off the, the sparkle off the pom-pom off the top of his hat or her hat of course and you literally just come in and then all I'm going to, all that's left to do now after I finish trimming is to layer this up and colour it in and to do some balloons so um, literally all I did for, for these was obviously my stamping markers obviously you could use your um, stamping blends as well wanted to pop some white dots my red is set on with a little bit of overuse, so it's a little bit, I have to go over a little bit more. So there's our panda for the front. And then what we've got left to do now is um, add our balloons. So I've got a scrap of the, the DSP we were using. I'm just going to come in and stamp the balloons onto the DSP, uh, not press too hard like I did on that one, so let's just try again, better, and obviously you could use whatever DSP you happen to have around and all I've done is I've literally just hand cut these and then you can choose to either add them on with dimensionals or obviously if you want to keep the card flatter particularly on those on the ones on the, the front here I've added on flat because I don't want to add any more dimension to the thickness of the card um, as obviously it's you know starts becoming expensive to send but this is a great I mean I know lots of people that love pandas so it's it's a great set not just for kids um, I have a particular friend who was stamping her feet saying she wanted the, the pandas yes that's a you, you miss Charlesworth that's scrimping mummy um, which uh, we had the same with the pigs yeah they, they were just up as soon as these were revealed everybody was just in delighted with them you know really really sweet um, and something that uh, we ha again we haven't had um, certainly the time I've been with stamping up so it is lovely to have them so all we need to do now is add our little balloons onto our card so just a bit of snail on the back and a balloon there Nail to the back of our panel and then just centre that up and then when I find my third one just add a dimensional to the back of that and then use the stamping marker just to freehand with the bullet point There we go. So there we have a card or two to celebrate whoever you happen to be uh, sending a card to. Hope you enjoy these. They're great fun. And if you'd like to see um, some more, then visit my Stampin' Up shop, HeidiSmith.StampinUp.net or visit my blog, FlutterbyHeidi.co.uk and find more details there. Thanks for watching. Bye now.